Hi folks, welcome back to Blackbeard's Detail and YouTube channel. I'm Ross and in this vlog we're going to be doing a week in the life of a detailer. Uh, it's just going half past seven on Monday morning. Uh, this will be a wee bit of a lengthy vlog, but it will get give those who are basically curious of what goes on uh, in the course of a week in uh, the detailing studio and of course what it takes to run a detailing studio you'll be able to see the kind of mixture of stuff you get in inquiries, customer collections and the general work that, is, that needs done because it's not just cleaning cars uh, anyway I'm on my way up to the unit now so I shall see you something so before he even set foot inside customer outside waiting uh, he's Tesla he did a couple of bird poos on and then uh, instead of doing safe wash, kind of scrubbed away at it which has then caused uh, some love marks marring on the bonnet which is in to get sorted uh, Inside the unit I have one of this week's main cars in for a ceramic coating Jaguar and this was one of last week's cars which is uh, ready to go away today so as you can see, Monday morning, technically it's not even 9 o'clock yet and the work is already there waiting and rolled in. I had to come up yesterday to take collection of this one from the customer. Uh, <coughs> so, yeah, as you can see, it's uh, it's fairly busy already. So, we're going to go get opened up and uh, I start planning today's work. So, that's Big Land Cruiser photographed, customer message said that's it, ready to go. Uh, Josh is uh, now in, so he's getting all set up to do the decon on the Jag, safe wash on that Tesla before I start with the uh, polishing work and the customer stopped by with this, which was ceramic coated last month and see along there, I think it was a bit, a bit difficult to pick up on camera. There's a nice grouping of scratching all along there. It uh, broke down, and the uh, the AA man or RAC, I can't quite remember which one. Uh, it was wet. The end of the day, the guys are there. They're working on the roadside. He's leaned over, and I think his overalls have uh, scratched the uh, the side of it. So that also needs. Uh, Corrected and then recoated. So, yeah, it's uh, adding again more more work on. So this gives you an idea. It's not even gone quarter past nine on a Monday morning, and that's stuff rocking in. So that was a wee, uh, bit of good news. It's uh, the Audi RS6 that we had in. If you check back a couple of vlogs ago. Uh, was at the Sir Jackie Stewart uh, car show and won best German car. So uh, yeah, that's uh, always really good when you've got another show car under your belt. It really shows that the work that, that gets put out uh, can stand up to the highest scrutiny and direct sunlight with people looking at it and there's not a defect on it. So yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> it's basically what we aim to do here and uh, that car was pretty special so if you haven't seen it go back and check out that vlog so it's now Tuesday uh, the polishing on that Jaguar is now completely finished and uh, Josh is just doing pre-coat and wipe on it uh, we have had this uh, Merc in as well and for a uh, maintenance detail so safe wash and interior valet uh, this was coated a couple of years ago and just comes back every month just to get its uh, little top up. So again, pretty busy. Yesterday there was two quotes popped up. A handover in the car and today it's quite a bit of uh, kind of sitting ordering stuff online to order more kind of base chemicals and stuff like that. And we've got uh, the tail end of next week uh, a customer whose car was coming in and he's decided to get the canvas roof uh, restored on the car whilst it's in. So, on the leather repair company, contact them, get the right colour, 
and then get all that stuff all ordered in as well. But yeah, it's been a busy couple of days. It's roasting hot in here. See the fan is absolutely blasting on the go. And the temperature is sitting just a smidgen over 20 degrees with very little wind coming through. How hot is it? Fan's the saviour. The fan yeah. is the saviour. The fan is the saviour. Uh, you find yourself arguing and fighting over like, who gets to stand in front of it for five minutes because it's absolutely stifling hot. Uh, along with that, we've been getting kind of roof works done along here as well, which uh, is thankfully starting to come to its completion. Uh, the chaps came in earlier on and assessed the inside panels, make sure none of them had been damaged whilst they were fitting the roof. Uh, but there was none of them, everything, all that stuff was all fine. A couple of paint flakes on one of them, but says the guys, don't worry about it, I'll sort that, because it's not as if they can come in and start painting, scrape my wee flakes and stuff like that whilst I've got cars in. Uh, that's the type of thing that I can pop up uh, one day during the weekend, take an hour or so just to scrape away the, the wee loose bits and then we paint it. But uh, yeah, well, on Tuesday, we tomorrow, very nearly here, uh, we've only got an hour and a half left of work, which gives us plenty of time to get the base coat on this Jaguar. It can coat overnight, then we'll get the top coat on it. Uh, and then uh, do the finishing touches, and then that'll be good to get collected on Thursday. But yeah, it's uh, pretty hectic. Uh, tomorrow we have got Porsche Cayman coming in for uh, the works, and an A45S in for its yearly uh, check of the coating, it's a matte coloured car, I've done a vlog on that one previously so if you scroll back you'll see that one, so that's coming in just to get a full check over on it, make sure the coating's behaving, doing exactly as it should be doing, and uh, so we're arranging to get that one dropped off because the customer's still offshore, uh, he wants the car done and dropped off and all sorted whilst he's away so when he comes back he can collect the car from here and it's all gleaming, ready for him uh, to basically get on with his, uh, his life out with work. But yeah, it's uh, it's been pretty hectic. I'm choked to get out and about on the bike. Uh, the weather has been roasting as, uh, as I told you. But stack of work in, and uh, sometimes it just needs to sit there looking sorry for itself. And I need to sit over looking longingly at it. Uh, want to go out on a run, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's all, all good. Other than that, not much else. Uh, renewed my uh, carbon footprint. Can I stop like a subscription? But every year, I've actually delayed. I normally do it uh, at the end of the year, but uh, it completely slipped my mind. My wife reminded me of it, so we went back in and offset my business carbon emissions. I also offset my carbon emissions for driving up and down to work, and I also added on a little bit extra to cover me going out and messing about on that bike because as much as I am a huge petrol head there's nothing better than that nice big grumbling engine uh, well unfortunately living in the climate that now we are need to take action and need to take a little bit of responsibility for some of the fun we're having unfortunate enough I can afford to offset the carbon emissions running my business so we do that and uh, we do display the little uh, certificate which is sitting right over there, so I've got the new one to print out uh, and then I'll get that up there so it's all updated and uh, yeah, anyway that's a little update for today and uh, it's actually been pretty chilled out today isn't it? We've had no kind of, uh, as much as it's been busy there's been nobody kind of coming or going or that, we'll just be able to get our heads down and get on with it and uh, also restocked all that uh, so we've well, got a nice full complement of uh, all the stuff on the shelves which again doesn't take a huge period of time but it's stuff that still needs done and again this little vlog just to give you an insight as to what's involved in the kind of day to day uh, running and what we do every single day up here it's not just the finished article pictures of, of the cars which come in and then magically leave all nice and shiny sparkly there's a lot of work that goes on in the background but uh, yeah we will uh, probably catch up tomorrow and uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Thank you. So it's now Wednesday. It's just gone past lunch time, one o'clock, and I uh, woke up this morning to a text from Josh. 
he's got a suspected broken wrist. So uh, it's full steam ahead in here. I'm just here myself for the time being and for the foreseeable until I hear anything further forward. He was on his way to A and E. A and E. Uh, so I'm still waiting to hear hear back. Uh, so fingers crossed, it's not as bad as first uh, expected. Uh, <coughs> So, a couple of long nights ahead, this Porsche came in, I've done full decontamination on it now and I'm ready to start uh, making odds and end jobs they need done on it. Uh, this, the Porsche came in badge, is being removed. Uh, there's a nasty stone chip on the front bonnet, which is also getting repaired and a, a slight chip along there which have started to fill. I'm going to need to build up the levels on that uh, before sanding it as flat as possible. Uh, it's quite a tricky one. It's right on that ridge line. You can see I've already started to fill it kind of in there. So I'll need to sand that really gently uh, just on that ridge line. And the other stone chip is there, which you can see has started to uh, fill up nicely. Uh, outside also got an A45, which I think I'd mentioned uh, beforehand, that's uh, in for a uh, shield protection detail and top up. So that's basically sat there the now uh, until I can get uh, round to that. Uh, and then the Jag is going away today uh, between 3 and 4. So once that goes, I'll get that uh, Merc deconned. Uh, and I'll get it in and then I'll get the, the top on that. It's also picked up a nasty scratch on the real kind of glossy piano black uh, rear spoiler. So that's going to be quite a tricky one to sort without causing any kind of further, further damage to it. Again, that's one right on the ridge line. So for this Porsche, uh, colour specific paint ordered in for it. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to crack on with the work on this. It's needed done before I start the polishing. Uh, just had a wee spot of lunch there, a very quick lunch. A wee coffee break. And uh, yeah, we'll get cracked on. So a couple of long nights ahead. But such is life, these things happen. So when things don't always go to plan and then they just keep on getting worse. Uh, normal PDR guy can't do the job on this second PDR guy messaged who was meant to be coming up to take a dent out the rear wing on this Porsche uh, hasn't arrived told me it was going to come after he's done his garage work however hasn't bothered isn't picking up his phone isn't answering messages and this car's due to go away at 9am tomorrow morning to get decals put on it and the dent is still here it's now gone that's now quarter to seven at night uh, and yeah and dicked about with folk who aren't uh, replying to messages basically so also heard back from josh he has got a, a hairline fracture on his arm so looking at a, a minimum four weeks he's going to be off for so i've had to rejig bookings about uh, so I'm essentially not going to be living up here, but I've managed to still get everybody in within time scales. I've just kind of spread them out. I'm going to be working weekends now, but that can't be helped. That's that's a just a thing which has happened. But yeah, this is a turns out I've picked a really good week to do the, the basically what's involved in running uh, a busy detailing business. Uh, yeah. Thankfully, not all weeks are like this, uh, but yeah, you get some weeks where it just gets piled on and on. So, but this car's done, completely finished. Uh, I could have been away at uh, about five o'clock, uh, so I've basically spent an hour and 45 minutes up here twiddling my thumbs, waiting on a sky coming. Tried to phone, text, nothing. So, Hey, update, it's uh, just 8 o'clock, I'm uh, just off the phone to the customer, updating them that the dent's not going to be sorted today. Uh, incredibly understanding, and 
There's absolutely no issue. It actually gave me any trouble for uh, for remaining up here as long as I did. Told me to make sure to get down the road to family. So by ways of uh, apology, in case this can't get sorted tomorrow, the full interior whilst I was waiting has been done. Leather has been uh, all conditioned. Uh, dash like full glass deep clean inside. Uh, so yeah. Joy, so as it says, it's just gone past eight o'clock there. So I am going to get locked up and uh, yeah, see how tomorrow goes. Uh, things can only get better. So very quickly, that's the uh, dent pulled from the Porsche, and the uh, customer is on the way. In fact, I think the customer's just pulled up there. So uh, yeah, bad good news that that is sorted and uh, sitting there looking all good, ready to go. Now have this Honda Fireblade in, uh, <coughs> just to get the, the frame polished. It was uh, taken to a roadside car wash who sprayed wheel acid all over it. So uh, yeah, I'm on to doing a, doing a motorbike now. And uh, yeah, this was meant to be here nine o'clock this morning and get dropped off at 12, which was a, uh, yeah, needless to say, not, uh, not the best start of the day, so uh, it was meant to get picked up later on today, but told, nope, no way, it'll need to be Monday now uh, before it goes, because I'm not rushing uh, to get something finished in time. I'll do what needs done with it, and then get finished for the day, and then it can just can get picked up on Monday with the customer. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, so far looking pretty, pretty good. So another couple of hours on it and then that should be done. But yeah, so far mega, mega busy week. Uh, one down on Friday, of course. But uh, anyway, I'm going ahead because the customer's just popping in there. Well, that's it. Almost eight o'clock on the Friday night. So that should now be with me from Monday morning all the way through the week till Friday. And uh, yeah, what a week I picked to do this vlog. I have just cracked open a cheeky bottle of Stella. Hey, Fiona and I are going to have dinner and we're going to start watching the Star Wars saga straight from the start. Fiona's never seen any of them. Sat down to watch Boba Fett, which is like, I have no idea what's going on here. So it's like ideal time to start them straight from scratch. So dinner is pretty much ready. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. It uh, would help me out. Cheerio, bye.